Hey, what is up guys? Mr. The Reverts here and along with the release of DLC for the Shadow War We got a pretty big game-changing update. We do have a lot to cover within this update But really quick guys, I do have a video talking about my review on the Shadow War DLC shortly after this one So if uh, you guys want to come back and check a bit later for that, please go ahead and do so But now on to the actual updates the division meta is more than likely gonna get a huge flip up because with the new command Mano Division, they are pretty dang overpowered. I've played for about two hours using them, and I can honestly say they are going to be the new meta for this game. They are insanely, insanely good. And I'm going to read off the little description that Sledgehammer Games gave to us over on Reddit, and they say, Commandos are versatile, self-sufficient soldiers that excel at capitalizing on an advantage. Equipped with a personal paratrooper insert, combatants in this new division can drop into battle from the skies, either landing behind enemy lines or right next to the objective. On top of their ability to get into the action faster than any other division, Commandos can boast a variety of benefits that are activated when they perform well. Not only do they regenerate health quicker, but killing an enemy soldier instantly activates health regeneration, allowing the commando to get into the next fight even sooner. On top of that, multi-kills and headshots grant additional score as well as ammo. Playing as a commando can give you the upper hand when fighting a group of enemies, but only if you're able to keep these abilities active. Finally, commandos of the highest rank can equip two basic trainings at all times. With the flexibility of two basic trainings, the ability to take down enemies after enemies without pause, and access to the powerful utility of paratrooper insert, commandos are a force to be reckoned with in any map or game mode, and that is 100% true. But again, I do feel they are going to be the new meta for the divisions, but I mean just the power to have two basic trainings alone is able to make the commandos amazing, but the fact that you can basically fly from the skies to an objective or behind enemy lines, plus you get an additional score and ammo when you kill someone, plus you can regenerate health faster and even instantly activate the health regen upon killing someone, makes this division truthfully a force to be reckoned with. Now guys, once you do prestige the commando for prestige one, you get this new rifle called the AS-44 and it's a pretty decent weapon honestly but I haven't had too too much time to get used to the weapon so I can't really give a honest opinion um, to me it feels pretty dang good honestly I haven't had any issues with it and uh, I, I do think it's a pretty decent weapon but at the end of the day I'm more of a submachine gun user for World War 2 I don't really like to use ARs or uh, rifles all that much in this game um, but yeah it's a decent weapon honestly go ahead and uh, grind to prestige the commandos to use this weapon now first off the way you parachute onto the map is by setting down a tactical insert which takes over one of your equipment slots and then you can spawn pretty much wherever you place it on the map but there are some exceptions though such as you cannot place it while inside a room or an area with a roof over it and also you can get shot out of the sky while parachuting down which can be very very annoying but also with that being said you can shoot at the enemy team while falling down onto the map which is pretty epic honestly but I'm not really too big of a fan of tactical inserts mainly because they totally disrupt map control like no matter how hard you work to maintain good map control the tactical inserts just ruins that strategy because you simply don't know where they're going to be spawning so not a big fan of tac inserts but still I think Sledgehammer did a very good job of balancing them because like I said you can shoot at the enemy team while falling down from the sky but at the same time they they can shoot at you. Also something to note about commando for the tactical inserts is for war you can actually place them down and yeah instead of spawning so far behind working so hard to break the other team's defense you can simply slip right on through or I guess I should say fall down through their defense and shoot the enemy team from behind very very useful perk for war pretty much for any objective game based mode in general but uh, for war you're gonna get the most out of it for the commando division second perk it does allow the user to regenerate health quicker and also when you kill an enemy you'll instantly regenerate health so this 
this is very, very useful for the players who are more of a rushing, in-your-face, aggressive style of play. I don't find it to be that big of an issue. Like, sure, on paper, it does seem pretty solid. But going against it, I did not have too big of an issue there. The health regen is, like, almost instant, man. It's really, really solid. But if you are being swarmed by a lot of players, then it still won't help you out too, too much there. For Tier 3 of the Commando Division, again, it's literally any aggressive style player wet dream multi kills and headshots grant some extra score and ammo you do get 25 score for the multi kills and headshots as well which isn't an insane amount of score but for sure it does add up now for the ammo you're gonna get an additional 20 rounds in the magazine which is a lot if you think about it so yeah tier 2 and tier 3 are mainly gonna help you out with rushing and just being a bother to the enemy team with your aggressive play style now for the final perk of the commando is that you're able to use two basic training perks and to me honestly this makes the division even more amazing it makes it even more worth using however you are limited to the perks you can choose from and the op combinations you're thinking of such as specialists and requisitions or requisitions and ordnance more than likely aren't going to be happening first and foremost no you cannot use specialists while running commando it's just not going to let you and also you cannot use remedy either so out of 28 basic trainings you can only use up to 26 for the first tier however when it comes to picking up the second basic training you can only use 16 out of the 26 so 10 of those are just removed basically which does balance this out I feel now that doesn't mean you aren't able to come up with some good combinations uh, because you still can just the insanely unfair ones are pretty much removed I've been using duelist and escalation a bit uh, I find that to be the really fun with the akimbo pistols too I'm just pretty much running and gunning with those. It's really fun on shipment too. So uh, that's one of the combinations I found too. Um, as time goes on, I'm pretty sure more people are, are going to find more and more combinations they can use with the Commando basic training perks. In general, Commando is definitely going to be the new meta for the game. Like I can pretty much already tell. Sure, it's in the honeymoon phase right now, but Commando is just all around a solid, solid division to use because it benefits anyone of any skill level pretty much but if you guys want to let me know your thoughts about the commander division i'd be more than happy to read those down below in the comments also drop a like on the video if you guys did enjoy and thank you so much for watching guys we are almost out of call of duty world war 2 we have about uh, a couple weeks left until the blackout beta and then after that one more month until black ops 4 comes out so uh world war 2 is pretty much just now finishing up its life cycle and uh, here comes Treyarch here comes Black Ops 4 again guys I'm gonna have my review on DLC 4 uh, probably a couple hours from now I'm staying up super super late to record this get the gameplay out to you guys and all that kind of good stuff there so uh, any type of support I really would appreciate it and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching guys I love you all so so much till next time I'll see you later